What's up traders, this is VTrades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Apple with the ticker symbol AAPL. Remember that if you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who have already subscribed and liked my videos. Thank you. Just Come a again. reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only and does not constitute any financial advice. We will start out the technical analysis by going over what I see in the daily chart and potential price targets. Then we'll take a quick look on the weekly chart to wrap it all up. So I know most of you were, were expecting a BABA update, but um, uh, my analysis still holds. So if you want to go see my um, last BABA video, um, that was that'll give you an idea of what I still think prices can do and other than that I'll probably give you guys an update maybe next Sunday so let's go ahead and take a look at Apple on the daily chart so for this stock I pretty much predicted that we would sell off uh, most people said we would not go below 150 and look what happened we went below 150 um, that was just more probable for Apple to do and as of right now it looks like the correction might be over so I'm gonna show you guys that right now so it looks like there was a spike down and then there was a break outside and a move to a new low. So that shows signs of weakness. And then there was a higher low. You see this low right here is higher than this one. So that's showing signs of uh, strength for the bulls. And then it looks like price is closed above the EMA. So that's another good sign. So uh, we're going to have to see how this coming week um, um, plays out. But if it plays out the way I'm expecting, then uh, we could go back all the way up to retest the highs of this range right now because that's what looks like prices um, are doing so it looks like the prices were moving up and down inside of this range and then there was a break outside here and then there was a break outside on the opposite side since the market is symmetrical so now, now it looks like we came back inside of the range so this is where i expect prices to go back up to um, the high 40s uh, 140s or even the low 150s for right now and maybe we can go up to surpass these highs in the future but as of right now, I'm more bullish than bearish just because of these signs right here where we had this downtrend that played out. And it looks like um, we fell back inside of the range. So we're finding support and showing signs of strength. So uh, I believe tomorrow we'll probably hit that 145 level. And from there, we probably could reach that 150 level. Um, could uh, there be um, downside coming in the future? Uh, possibly uh, for next week let's see let's take a look at this downtrend channel right here so it looks like um there possibly could be a spike in channel down and then we could just be making this two-legged correction back up to the 145 level as i showed you with the measure move and then um do something like this where we sell off one more time to retest these lows or make a new one and hit that 135 136 level uh, that's a possibility but as of right now there's more bullish signs and i'm gonna have to stick with the bulls on this one because uh, we fell back inside this range. We're finding support, and uh, the pretty much still the long-term pattern is an uptrend. So maybe this correction wasn't as strong as previously thought. So as of right now, I'm more bullish, and that's where my target is right as of right now, the 150 level. So if anything changes, I'll give you guys an update. Let me show you guys this uh, large uptrend channel that prices are respecting. So if I just drag it from this swing, and I connect the um, other lower swings, and if I drag it up. Let's change the color to red. So as you can see, every time we come up to the low side of this channel, we find support. And every time we come up to the highs or near it, we sell off. And this midline is acting as both support and resistance. As you can see that right now, every time we pass above it, we find support. And every time we get back underneath it, we're finding resistance. So this pretty much, this channel is accurately drawn and represents the price action as of right now. So since we were at the top side, I expected us to come back all the way to the lower side. And it could still happen, but maybe the prices um, want to make a larger pullback upwards before continuing lower. So that's definitely another possibility. But as of right now, um, I still think we're probably going to reach that 150 level and maybe just surpass these previous highs to make a new one. Uh, we just got to wait and see. But other than that, I'm going to show you guys the weekly chart now. So here's the weekly chart for Apple, and it's still pretty bullish. As you can see that uh, last week was a nice um, close of the candle. It's uh, pretty much showing a lot of strength. Uh, prices cannot get below the EMA and close below it. So that's a good sign for the bulls. And also, it looks like maybe this channel is played out, the correction channel, since there was about three to four bars inside of it. And then if I zoom in a little closer, you can see that this green bar right here, this um, between the red and the green one, uh, made that new low of the previous red bar 
and so that can mark the end of the downtrends and that's why we got this reversal candle right here and we could probably just surpass these pre uh, previous highs so uh, there's bullish signs and i'm more bullish than bearish for apple uh, we just gotta wait and see the long-term pattern is still an uptrend so maybe they want to keep on pushing the market up higher um the trend is your friend until it ends right you just gotta know when it ends but other than that you don't want to fight the trend because there's more people who would want to push the market higher than um start selling it off so gotta stick with the trend so that's pretty much everything i see for apple looks like it's pretty bullish as of right now and that correction um looks like it played out um to my eye and we could be uh, targeting targeting that 150 level and maybe even surpass the previous highs. We just got to wait and see. But uh, in the short term, I still expect us to pull back to the 150 level. And from there, um, it'll be hard to tell if we do want to make a second leg down to that 136 level. Or we want to just go straight up to knock out the person who went short right here. So thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also, share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.